Hi guys, coming in. At the live store, you'll be able to join us in our physical shop in the Netherlands during our opening hours. You get to see live presentations of your favorite gear with me, your store manager, and you get to ask me questions in real time and get real time answers back. At the live store, we're open every Wednesday at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time, and when we're live, you get the best prices guaranteed on the products that we're showing. You can find out more at championarms.com slash live store. Hey guys, and welcome to the live store. I'm Chris, I'm your store manager, and we're, you're joining us today live at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. And remember, we're live every week at uh, this very time, whatever time it is for you right now. So today, we're gonna to be looking at three premium uh, modular helmets. You can see them right here. We have the Shui Neotech 2, the AGV Sport module, and then the Schubert C4 Pro. So these are, uh, like I said, very high-end premium modular helmets. And really represent the best uh, that is out there today. So the live store, what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through a few of the specs, uh, a few of the details on this helmet. I'm going to dive into everything about them and then uh, I'm going to answer your questions. So you can make sure you pop questions down into the chat. I can see uh, we've had a couple conversations with you guys already. So leave your questions in the chat and I'll answer them uh, and yeah we'll have a conversation. We'll talk about it. We'll see how it all goes. And some of you guys might have noticed here the Big wheel behind me. If you remember from last week, it's the champion wheel. So just comment into the comment section with the country that you're doing from, and we'll pick someone out, and they'll get to have a spin on the champion's wheel, and they'll win this amount in champion cash in euros, uh, which is our in-store uh, credit, which you can use to say buy an HV Sport modular if you wanted to. So that is how it works, and we'll be doing that soon. So remember to comment down below with your uh, with the country that you're viewing from. And guys, remember, if you're watching this, uh, now leave your comments, leave your questions, we'll get to that. Uh, we'll break it up a little bit as well, so I'll be, I'll be answering some of your questions as we go along. And if you're watching this back, if you're watching this a few years in the future, who knows, leave your comments as well, uh, because I'm going back and I'm checking all the time to see what you guys are asking and if I, if I can answer your questions, which I will. Plus, if I miss your question today, don't worry, I'll be answering it soon enough. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's jump down into the I one of the better parts of the uh, live store, the discount code. That's right. We do have another discount code this week. It is 10% off the discounted prices of these helmets for the Shui Neotech 2, the AGV Sport module, and the Schubert C4 Pro. If you want that code, make sure you uh, have a look in chat. We'll have someone from the sport team drop that in into the chat, and uh, yeah, so make sure you use that. It's only going to be valid for 24 hours from the start of the live store. So if you're watching from a few years in the future, I'm sorry you've missed that out, but make sure you join us uh, every Wednesday when we're live. All right, guys. So let's jump into the AGV Sport Modular. Let me just move these helmets a little bit over here out of the way. And we have here, like I said, premium uh, yeah, module helmet. So it is going to be a sports touring helmet, emphasis on touring. Uh, as most uh, of these helmets are, but the sport module is a little bit more sporty, and we'll see why that is. But first of all, the shell is going to be made entirely out of carbon fiber. You can see that here in this design. It's why I've, uh, I've chosen this one. You can see that carbon fiber all the way, and even on the chin bar here. And that's kind of what makes the sport module quite special, that it has this fully carbon fiber chin bar, which we uh, don't really see. And this means, uh, along with a few other weight saving measures, that the helmet only comes in at 1300 grams, which is quite light. It's actually uh, one of the lightest uh, module helmets around. I think actually even the lightest module helmet around. And so that is a very good result actually. And that's also one of the things that makes it a little bit more sporty. For the pricing of this helmet, it's gonna come in at around 700 euros, which is uh, going to be at the top end of the scale here today, but not by much. They're all going to be around 600, 700 euros. And that's for the kind of uh, the base version without the graphics, without the designs. Uh, if you want those, it'll go up a little bit more. So back to Sport Module. The reason we call it the Sport Module is because it's modular. You can open it up. You can uh, wear it like this. It's cool. If you guys, yeah, if you're not sure why someone wants a modular helmet, basically it's comfortable. It's flexible. If, you're, uh, if you get off your bike, talk to your mate. 
you can just lift up your helmets instead of trying to take everything off. So that's, uh, that's pretty uh, neat about these helmets. For the visor, you can see here, it is going to be fairly wide and fairly deep. It's going to have a fairly easy opening system. You can just push a button in, pull it up. And on the side, you can see the mechanism. It's a fairly decent mechanism. It is not particularly uh, sophisticated, though it is good, does the job, and it's going to be pin lock lens prepared. And that pin lock lens is in the box. That's for all these helmets as well. For the shape, uh, head shape, it's going to be intermediate oval. Intermediate oval, so it's going to uh, fit a lot of people out there in the Western markets. And it's going to come with a double D-ring closure system here, keeping in tune with weight saving. These are made out of titanium, which uh, shaves something, I'm guessing like a quarter of a gram off of the total weight, and it's also going to be a bit stronger than steel. So you do have those uh, double D-rings on this helmet. Now we'll go back to the front. We'll have a look at the ventilation. The ventilation you can see here on the chin. Easy enough. You can open that up. You can close it. It's going to vent uh, straight up onto the onto the visor. Up top, we have a scoop. Also pretty easy, easy to use. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of air onto the top of your head. And at the back, of course, we have uh, an exhaust. What is cool about this, though, and again a little bit sporty, is that uh, you can use this as a wing. So if I put that on the side, you might be able to see it better. But yes, you can use this as a wing in one of three positions: closed, semi-closed. Open. So that's uh, the ventilation. It is quite comfortable. It's going to give you uh, a good breeze in your helmet. But remember, if you want the best possible ventilation, you can open it up. So all right, well, while we're here, let's have a look at the sun visor. It has that drop-down sun visor. You can control it with a slider on the side. It drops down to a fairly good uh, height, and it is pretty comfortable. It doesn't really interfere. Uh, at all with my nose or anything like that. So that is the yeah the sun visor and the visor of the AGV Sports module. Now we'll go to the liner because the liner is fairly special. On the inside, it's there. Uh, obviously, first of all, it's removable, it's washable, it's antibacterial. But on the inside, it's going to be a Shalimar and Ritmo material, which means that it's going to be uh, warm and also part of it's going to be cool. So that's a really cool thing about the uh, Sport module. It gives you some really nice flexibility there, especially that uh, cooler side, because I think that's what a lot of people will be using most of all. Then with this helmet, uh, it's got a couple little things, like it's got uh, speaker cutouts. It doesn't actually have a system which is specifically prepared for it, like with these two, but we'll get to that in a moment. And instead, it just has, has uh, speaker cutouts. You can just pop your system into there, pop it on, and off you go, which is, I think, pretty cool. And yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's about it for the uh, AGV Sport Modular. Now, let's uh, move on. But first of all, let's have a look at the chat here. I see that uh, there's a few things going on, a few new comments. And don't forget, guys, make sure that you drop in your questions. And I'll, ask, I'll answer them in a moment. So let's have a look at the chat here. Looks like it's all going pretty well. And I see Rofa Rofa is from Holland. Hi Rofa Rofa, good to see you. You know what? You're going to get a spin on the Champions Wheel, so congratulations uh, Rofa. Good luck to you. And for you guys who have just joined us or you don't remember, the Champions Wheel here, it's going to, we're going to spin it and whatever amount it lands on is going to be the amount of champion cash uh, that you win in Euros. And that's an install credit you can spend it, say, on one of these helmets. So that's nice. Let's give that a spin, guys. And good luck to you Rofa. Hopefully we get a big result. We haven't had the 500, but we also haven't had the zero. So uh, hopefully one of those will come up. And don't forget as well, you can get these in product bundles with a free visor and a uh, or a comm system if you like. That is a very ambiguous result. Uh, I think we're gonna have to give that a spin again. I think that's the fairest option to say with that. Sorry, Rofa. It's between the 500 and the 5, we'll have to give that another spin. Hopefully come up with another uh, actual 500 as we go through the wheel. Gave it a big spin that time. And there we go. 100 euros of champion cash. Congratulations, Rover. That's quite a good result. Uh, 
it was almost a 500, but it was also almost a 5. So I think the 100 euros is going to be a overall pretty good result. So congratulations, we're going to get someone from Champion Helms, uh, from the support team, who's going to get in touch with you, and we'll make sure that we get that champion cash to you uh, as quickly as we can. So congratulations. And guys, remember, drop your questions in the, co in the comments section. That's what we're here to do. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm actually going to be doing that in just one second. So make sure, drop your questions into the chat. Now's the time, and there's no bad questions, guys, so make sure you uh, get onto it. All right, so, guys, uh, if you've just joined us, I am Chris, I am the Storm Manager, and it's going to be my job to take you through these helmets and then to answer the questions that you guys are leaving me. So make sure you do that, and you can join us every Wednesday at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time, whatever time it is for you right now. And don't forget, we also have a discount code. Yes, we have a very good discount code. It's going to be 10% off the already discounted uh, prices of the Shui Neotech 2, the AGE Sport module, and then the Shui Rope C4 Pro here. So if you want to get onto that, make sure you do. Uh, you can check that out on ChampionHelms.com, and that code is only valid for 24 hours. So if you want to get around it, you've got to get around it quickly. So let's have a look at some questions here. Uh, uh, let's have a look here. See from Brian. Hi Chris, gonna ride with my chin bar up. Uh, technically, no. Double check it. Uh, depends on legality and so on. But these helmets are typically rated as modular helmets, so that uh, you're not going to be able to really ride with it uh, up like this. If you get something like the Roofbox Carbon, is that is specifically uh, rated to be ridden as a jet helmet as well, which means that you can ride with that chin bar up. So just make sure you double check that. Uh, but typically, it's not recommended to ride with the chin bars up on this on these uh, modular helmets. Thanks for your question, Brian. Let's have another look here. Uh, I see from uh, Joad. Uh, why get a modular helmet over a full face? It's a very important question. It's a question that a lot of people ask. Basically, you want to get a uh, modular helmet over a full face if you want uh, kind of like the, com the comfort, really, because you do get a lot of fresh air when you open this up. Like I've just mentioned, you can't really ride with it open though, so you might be asking, well, what's the point? The point is if you want to go and, I don't know, buy a coffee, something like that. If you want to drink your coffee, you want to talk to your mates while you're stopped, anything like that, you're sitting in traffic, you just pull up that visor and you instantly get a hit of fresh air. Um, and that's the whole point of it. You get that first day. It's great for touring because you're on your bike all day when you stop, uh, you can just do that. You get that comfort effect. If you wear glasses, you might find it easier. You can just kind of pop this on uh, and then put your glasses on a bit easier. Anything like that. So it basically it comes down to comfort. So that's the real reason why uh, you would look at getting a uh, modular helmet over a full face helmet. Any sort of question? Let's have another look for a couple more questions here. Is it Rowitz? Thanks for joining us, Rowitz. Good to see you again. Uh, hi Marlon. Don't forget guys, the discount code is modular uh, underscore 10, so make sure you get around that. And that's to get 10% off of the uh, discounted prices of the Neotech 2, the Sport Modular, and the Schubert C4 Pro. Alright, so let's go back to these questions. Yeah, Brian, no worries, happy to help you out with those questions. Guys, don't forget, leave your questions in the, in the comment section. Uh, so that we, we can talk about it. If, well, if you want to know something, just leave it in the chat and we'll go through it. There's no problem at all. No question's a bad question. So make sure you leave those questions in the comment section, even if you want to just say a hi, anything like that. But remember to leave the country that you're viewing from uh, in the comment section as well. But also, don't worry if, you, if you're not doing that. If you want to just comment a question, uh, we'll pick someone out as well who's made a question uh, for the champion's wheel. So leave a comment with the country that you're viewing from or comment a question down below and we'll go through that. So guys, that's the EGV Sport module. Let's move on to the Shui Neotech 2. But don't forget, you can get these helmets at championhelmets.com and you can get them with a free visor in the product bundle. So make sure that you go check those out. It's free, so you might as well uh, pick it up if you're looking at getting one of these helmets. So, we have here the Shui Neotech 2. This helmet, again, premium during helmets. Uh, less sporty than the AGV uh, Sport Modular here, but it's going to be very good at what it does. And if I, yeah, let's just go through the material first, actually. It's going to be 
Shui's uh, AIM material, which is their advanced integrated matrix, which means it's mainly fiberglass. And it's going to make for a fairly strong helmet. And it's also going to be about average in terms of weight. It's going to come in about uh, 1,600, 1,650 grams. Definitely not the lightest modular helmet around, as that helmet has proven. But again, not bad. And does come with a lot of features, which justifies having that uh, heavier weight overall. Now, this helmet is going to come in around 600 euros uh, for the standard kind of design. And that is going to be, again, a premium level. It's one of the best modular helmets out there, so it's pretty well justified. Now, let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh, ventilation. You see here on the chin, we have a kind of like a lip vent. It's going to bring air straight up onto the visor through these gaps here, those little vents. Up top, big scoop. You can see there, big aerodynamic scoop, easy to use. You have a slider on top to open and close it. And then at the very back, we have a double wing here, and it's going to allow air out the back as well. So that's it for the ventilation of this helmet. It's quite good. It's going to be fairly comfortable. And just like the sport module, it opens up. It's a modular helmet. It's what it does. It opens up nice and cleanly. And it's nice and easy to use. Looking at the visor, Pinlock uh, anti-fog lens prepared. That Pinlock lens is in the box. But what is special about this helmet is kind of like what is special about most shoe helmets out there, and that's the mechanism. So you can see here, just like with the Xperia 3 from last week, it has pins uh, and springs in it. So as I go through these different detents, you can see those springs move. And especially when we get to the bottom, it's going to really pull the visor against the shell, which, which makes a good, strong seal, which is a great thing about the, uh, about the Neotech 2. It's going to have a great seal for noise isolation. And you can also see here this gap where the chin bar opens. It's going to be pretty easy to close. And it makes, it has a little lip here so that air is just going to kind of like go past it. So it is fairly aerodynamic and that again helps with that noise isolation. If we go to the bottom here, you'll see the these little flaps. And these are again for noise isolation. It's going to help to seal the helmet against your neck. You get it underneath the uh, micro ratchet system, which you can see here. So it does, yes, come with a micro ratchet system. But the noise isolation is pretty good. Everything is well covered. You get a big uh, chin guard there, which is also pretty cool. Then the liner itself, also fairly comfortable. It's going to be fairly cool, but also fairly warm. It's going to tow that line pretty well in the middle. And it's also going to be removable and washable and all that good stuff. What is cool, though, is that, again, for noise isolation, it has noise isolators behind the cheek pads. And these are extra like inserts of foam, which helps to soak up uh, any excess noise and really helps to make this a very uh, quiet helmet. For the head, uh, for the head shape fit, it's going to be intermediate oval, just like the uh, sport module here. So it's going to fit, like I said, a lot of people in that Western market. Uh, and you might have noticed this, or this, or these. So this is going to be for the uh, for the comm system, and it's going to fit with a Senna SRL1 communication system which is going to be somewhat controversial. A lot of people find that uh, they don't like being kind of forced into one direction with the Neotech 2 for the common unit, uh, but it is overall a pretty good unit. It fits in nice and easy. Just pop these off, slide everything on, uh, speaker cutouts are all there. Everything is prepared. You just have to put everything in. So it's, it's easy to use, and the system itself is pretty good. And I have to say, we do sell a lot of bundles with the, uh, with the center system with the Neotech. It is quite a popular choice overall. Uh, yeah, so it is, you know, some people are a bit negative on it, but overall it does work pretty well. And I can say that, yeah, it does sell pretty well. I, that's all I can really say about it. Now, I didn't uh, actually mention the sun visor because it does have a sun visor just there, controlled by a slider. So that is pretty good. You know, it's a sun visor. Not too much to really ask about that. And guys, that is also going to be about it for the Shui Neotech 2, a premium uh, touring modular helmet. So let's just check out this chat here, see how it's all going. See a few more questions have come in, guys. That's great. Make sure you guys keep on asking these questions. That's what we want to see. Uh, and that's, yeah, what we want to see. Just drop your questions in. Ask your questions. I'm here to answer them for you. But if you're watching this in the future or 
anything like that, don't worry because you can leave a question and I will still get back to you after we've closed up with the live store. Because we are only only we're only open for about half an hour every Wednesday at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. So guys, get around the live store, uh, ask your questions, and don't forget we do have that 10% uh, discount code on the already discounted prices of these three helmets. So check that out. Uh, you can get that for 24 hours only from the start of the live store. So, and don't forget, guys, you can win cash. Champions Wheel here. I asked before that you, if you guys want to uh, leave the country that you're viewing from, if you don't have a question, and I'll pick you out to do the Champions Wheel. Well, don't worry. We also said I also said that I'll pick someone who's asked a question. And we'll pick someone out to do that in a moment. I think I'll pick someone now who's asked a question. We'll give them a go on the champion's wheel and we'll win some win them some champion cash. So I see here. Uh phew. Uh Pete Hickey. I think I'm saying I'm hope I'm saying that right. Pete Hickey, Pete Hickey. Well, congratulations, Pete. You win. You're going to get a go at the champion's wheel. So you're gonna win some champion cash and basically you get to uh spend that as an install credit on whatever you like. So good luck to you. I'm gonna give this a spin. You got a big spin, and we'll, and we'll see how it goes. Takes a little while. Going and going and going and going. This is going to be final spin. We'll see how we go, and <laughs> that is an unfortunate result, I'm afraid. So I did say this would be the final spin, Pete. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, we didn't win this time. Uh, drop another question. Drop another question in the chat and we'll see uh, what happens maybe next week as well. Make sure you tune in. I'll give you another go at the champion's wheel. Uh, that's too bad, uh, Pete's butt. Good luck to you next time and thanks for, uh, for your question. You know, I'll actually, I'll take you, I'll look at your question now. I'll answer it for you. So I see, hi, I might be interested in the C4 type helmet. What was the key difference between the C4 Pro and the C4 basic and carbon. That's a great question because that is something that's really cool about the C4 Pro here. And I'll go into that uh, in a little bit more detail later on. But basically, with the C4 Pro versus the C4 basic and C4, Car C4 Pro carbon, it comes down to two things. The C4 Pro is kind of like your base in the middle. Then you have the C4 Pro carbon, which is made out of carbon fiber, so it's lighter, which is the main difference. And then you also have the C4 basic. And C4 Basic is just going to be the system that's not prepared for a communication system. Uh, this already has a microphone and speakers placed in it for Semi SC1, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but basically, yeah, it's not going to be prepared for that. So it's going to come in at a lower price and also a lower weight. And that's the main differences between it. That's a good question, though. Thanks for that. And we'll talk about it a little bit later on when we get onto the C4 Pro. So let me scroll down here. Have a look. Uh, from a question from Rowitz, he wonders what makes these helmets so expensive. That is a good question. Basically, the reason that these are premium helmets is that they are going to be quiet and comfortable. Also safe, that's also a uh, main consideration. But when you take a full face helmet and you cut open the chin bar so you can open it up like this, then you add a natural weak point. All this. And, you know, a good helmet these days, good module helmet, it has to take hits. Uh, so it's going to be fairly safe, but it's also going to obviously let air in through these cracks and that makes noise. So on lower uh, lower quality helmets, module helmets, that lets in a lot of air, that whistles and makes noise and that's uncomfortable. But with these helmets, they've done away with that uh, to the best that they can. Some of them are made out of very expensive materials like the uh, small module here with the carbon fiber and these also come with their own special kind of uh, manufacturing techniques for the fiberglass materials. And that's really, that comes down to uh, affecting the price, but the overall quality is obviously going to be much better with these homes as well. So as you step up in price, uh, as does quality and comfort. So thanks for that question, Rod. Uh, it's a good one, a very good question. I'll take another question here and then we'll move on to the uh, C4 Pro. Uh, from BG, so is the inner liner removable and washable on these helmets? Yes, you can remove the liner of each of these helmets and you can wash it and put it back in there so you can get some good life out of these. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're all going to be antibacterial as well, which will help you uh, in between washes. Thanks for the question. That's a good one. All right, so guys, let's move now on to the Schubert C4 Pro. But remember, guys, we are live every week, Wednesday at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. 
which is whatever time it is for you right now, we're going to be live and you can join us. Uh, the live store is open for about half an hour every Wednesday. So don't forget as well, you can watch this back on a Facebook page or on YouTube and you can also uh, ask questions a little bit later on after time has gone past and the live store is closed because I'm going to, do, going to be going back and answering these questions as well. But don't forget, we also have that discount code 10% off of these helmets that are already discounted prices. It's available for 24 hours. You can see that code in the chat. So make sure you check that out uh, if you're interested in it. It's 10% off these helmets. Or if you are not interested in that 10% code, you can get a communication system at a pretty big discount in a bundle with these helmets. Or you can also get a free visor with these helmets in a product bundle. So that is pretty cool. Make sure you check that out. So guys, the Shoebirth C4 Pro. Again, premium modular helmet, just like the rest. It's going to be quite similar to the Neotech 2 here. It does come with a lot of similar features. And really, when you stack these two up, they compete very strongly against each other. The shell, fiberglass. It's going to be made out of uh, the PIM method, which is the premium integrated matrix from Schubert. So it makes for a stronger uh, shell, which requires less material to get that overall strength. This helmet is going to come in around 1600, 1650 grams, uh, same as the Neotech 2, so it's going to be yeah, very similar there. And for pricing, it's going to come in about 600, uh, 1650 euros as well. So again, very close to the Neotech in that aspect. Let's take a bit of a deeper dive and look at this ventilation. So you can see here, it's like a button kind of vent. So you can open that up, it's going to let air in, it's going to go directly onto the visor, just like the other ones. And close that. Up top we have this scoop, easy to use as well. It works just as you'd imagine, it's going to bring air onto the top and the back of your head. But there's no back vent, so it's not going to escape anywhere, it's going to escape at the bottom here. And there's this kind of like uh, mesh fabric here in the liner which helps it to come out. Uh, so that is something that's a bit different with the Schubert C4 Pro. Go to the visor, and on the visor, it is Henlock anti fog lens prepared. It's going to be a good uh, anti fog lens as well. It's in the box, of course, and the visor is interesting. It's quite long, fairly deep, uh, but also the mechanism is pretty strong. Not as sophisticated as that of that of the uh, Neotech, but still does a very good job. Seals in very nicely and does well for, no for the noise isolation of the helmets. Actually, we'll talk about that visor as well, because I just remembered we have an internal sun visor. So there we go, you can see that there. Slider on the bottom, easy use, drops down low. Again, nothing to really say about that. It's a sun visor, it does a good job. So we'll open it up, have a look on the inside. We have this micro ratchet system, you can see here. So I'm just going to close that up, nice and easy. And we have this... Uh, different looking kind of material for the liner and this is going to be a kind of velvety material and it's very comfortable. It is definitely a comfortable fabric. It is a great addition to the C4 Pro uh, and it's going to be also fairly warm and also fairly cool, good at towing that line uh, which helps with that touring focus, kind of like an all-rounder kind of thing. Taking the liner out though is a little bit more tricky with this helmet so you have to kind of sort through a few different loops and stuff like that but it still works fine. And like I mentioned before, it is prepared for the Senna uh, SRL1 uh, communication system. You get the advanced or the standard. And you can see here this microphone is sticking out. The speakers are already in there, already prepared. So basically, all you have to do is purchase that uh, communication system, plug it in here, plug it in there, and off you go. It's as easy as that. So that is a big difference with the uh, Schubert versus these two helmets. And... When it comes to the uh, head fit, the shape of the fitment of the head, it's going to be round, which is more traditional for Schubert and definitely a departure from the three helmets here. So this is going to be intermediate oval and this one's going to be round. So that's a big difference between these helmets. So I think that's about it for the Schubert C4 Pro. Very similar to a Neotech, but does differ in a few small ways. So let's go back here, have a look at the chat, see how it's going. I see we have a few questions, but first guys, let me remind you if you've just joined us anything like that, I am Chris from Champion Helms, I'm your 
Live Store Manager, and it's my job to take you through these helmets to answer your questions, the questions that you have to drop in the chat uh, for me to answer them. And also, you get a chance perhaps to spin the champion wheel here. So to get a chance to spin the champion wheel, I'm going to pick someone out who has either commented with their, the country they're viewing from, or someone who has asked a question. So ask a question, guys, and we'll uh, get some get some uh, questions going, get some answers going, and you get a chance as well to spin on the champion's wheel. So I'll do that uh, in a few moments. Don't forget as well, we do have a discount code on these helmets, 10% off their already discounted prices, which is going to be a, quite a sweet deal. But if you're not interested in that, we also do have uh, the free visor for these helmets and product bundles, or also a big discount on the uh, communication systems for each helmet. The SRL2, sorry, the SRL1, the center SE1, or kind of like whatever you like. All right, guys, so let's have a look at these questions here. I have a question from Marlon. Uh, I have heard that the sport module is really loud. Is this true? That depends. Uh, the sport module here, it is quite a quiet helmet overall. I've also seen reports from people that they say it's quite loud. I think that that really comes down to the fitment uh, quite a lot because the visor and the seal itself is quite strong in the sport module. So do make sure that you are getting the best fit possible. And you'll see here that this wind guard on the chin is not the largest, especially compared to these two helmets. So I think that for some people, it might be getting in under there. So yeah, it does come down quite to quite a personal feel, but the sport module is by no means a loud helmet. Thanks for question though. And I see another one here from Pete. Well, Pete will give you another answer another one of your questions. So is there a reason why some helmets are more noisy than others? Yes, there is. There is a very good reason for that. And basically it comes down to design and largely to things like aerodynamics. These helmets are aerodynamically designed, all designed to be quiet, all designed to be good at what they do. And they're not going to be very noisy. They're quite quiet, uh, very quiet actually. But if you have something that's sticking out on the shell of this helmet, that's going to catch wind, it's going to make whistling. If the visor doesn't seal well, it lets air in, that's going to create whistling. Uh, if something sneaks in through these gap gaps here, it whistles, stuff like that. Plus, also, if the shell and the liner isn't uh, very noise resistant, you might hear things like, I don't know, uh, like your engine or car beeping the, their horn uh, a kilometer away, anything like that. So that's really what comes down to uh, the noise isolation of a helmet. Thanks for the question. All right, so let's uh, do another spin of the champion wheel, actually, guys. Uh, I see a question from Joris, Joris or Gustain. I hope I'm saying that right, uh, Joris. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a chance at the champion's wheel. Uh, this will be our last spin for today, I think, unless I feel a bit generous. So we'll see how we go. So we'll give you a spin. You can win some champion cash. Champion cash, you can spend that in our store uh, to pick up anything you want, really. So let's do that. Let's give that a spin on the champion's wheel. Uh, and then we'll go jump back into these questions. But first, good luck to you. 200 euros. That's great. We almost went into the 25, but it stayed on the 200. Congratulations to you, uh, Joe. So we'll have someone from Champion House getting in touch with you. And we'll get your details in private, and that way we'll make, be able to get you that champion cash as quick as possible. So congratulations on that 200 euros, a overall fantastic results. Thanks, Joris. Uh, so I have a few more questions coming in, I see. And uh, I have another question from uh, George. He's asking me which is the, the most comfortable helmet. They are, I'm going to start off, they're all pretty comfortable. They all do a great job. Uh, Personally, it's going to be the C4 Pro. It has a fantastic liner. That liner is very comfortable. It's very soft. Uh, it just it just it beats out these other two, though they do have very good uh, liners as well. So, guys, the Shuba C4 Pro is, in my opinion, going to have the most comfortable liner. Thanks for the question, though. Let's move on to do a couple more. Uh, let's see. Uh, another question from Marlon: Is there a difference between the sun visors? Not really. They drop down a little bit lower uh, by very small percentages and stuff like that. The location uh, for the slider is pretty much in the same spot for all these helmets. You see, it's always on the left side for the sport module and for the 
C4 Pro is going to be on the bottom left here. It's going to be kind of like in the middle towards the bottom on the left hand side. So the visors are very similar. But thanks for the question. Alright <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to take I think uh, one or two more questions. So this is your chance. Get those questions in. Make sure you get them in quickly. See another question here from Mud Titan. Uh, is a micro ratchet or a double D ring better? Good question. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter if it comes at least with a module helmet because module helmets you can't really take on the track. Most tracks won't accept them. Uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, having a micro ratchet versus a double D ring there. But at the end of the day, it comes down to safety and they're both proven to be safe. Uh, or at least one is not proven to be less safe than the other. So, uh, yeah, micro ratchet is just easy to use. You know, you can just pull it open like that and close it like that as well. Whereas with the double D ring, you have to kind of thread it through uh, these, obviously, the double D rings, then tie it up kind of. And that takes a little bit more time. If you're taking helmet on and off a lot, it's a bit frustrating, a little bit challenging sometimes. That's the main difference between it. This is tried and true. Uh, people love that. You know, people have experience with that. This is uh, the micro ratchet is a bit newer. And that is going to be the main difference between them. All right, so guys, I'm going to pick out one last question. So this is it. Let's pick out our last question. But don't forget, guys, if you leave a question, I don't answer anything like that. Uh, you can also, I'll, I'll be checking them out over time. So check back tomorrow. I might have had uh, an answer to your question. Or if you're watching this later on, don't worry, because you can leave a question and I will still answer it. Uh, up in any, any time in the future, really. So, guys, make sure you get onto those questions. Uh, so, let's have a look here. A few of these questions. A few more questions. Uh, let's see, from Marwan, uh, why do people complain about the chin strap on the Sport Modular? Again, good question. So, some people find that the chin strap is a little bit too far back on the uh, on the helmet and that it's a little bit tight against their throat. Again, personal thing, uh, it also might come down to thickness. They might not have an intermediate oval uh, shape with their head and that might be causing some issues for them. So do take that, take that into consideration. Something like a C4 Pro, which is round, might be better off for you. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. It just comes down to like how you, your personal body is and the shape of your head and the fitment of the helmet. So thanks for the question. All right, guys, that is going to just about do it for the live store. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget, you can check out that discount code. It's available for 24 hours after the start of the live store. It's 10% off of these three helmets, uh, any HUB Sport Modular, Shubo C4 Pro, or Shui New Tech 2. So make sure you get around that. Join us next week, we'll do some more uh, spins on the champion's wheel, maybe something at that 500. Uh, also, we're going to be looking at something pretty cool tomorrow, uh, sorry, next week at 5 pm at local Eastern time. We're going to be looking at the top, well, actually, three very good uh, entry level helmets. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, there might be a couple of surprises in there for you. So, guys, I'm Chris, I'm your live store manager. Uh, I've had a great time, and I hope to see, to see you all next week at 5 pm at local Eastern time for the live store. Guys, until then.